The Congo Basin, a vast equatorial rainforest and the very heart of Africa. To the south lie five countries with an ambitious plan, a conservation area that transcends international boundaries. My name is Sidia Mudise. I'm the regional coordinator of the Kabango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area, which is popularly known as uh, Kaza TFCA. Kaza as a TFCA is uh, an example of uh, collaboration between various governments to protect and to conserve uh, resources that uh, straddle the international boundaries. Flying over the seemingly endless forests of the Congo Basin, it is not immediately obvious how this links ecologically to the more arid countries of southern Africa. How do the gorillas and other forest wildlife here affect Kaza? The answer is rain. The trees in these rainforests are the source of towering cumulus clouds that form over this humid forested region and eventually release torrential rainfall over the highlands of central Angola. In turn, this water flows south into the lowlands of southern Angola, forming rivers such as a mighty Zambezi. Here, crashing over Victoria Falls, known locally as Mosio Tonya, the smoke that thunders. To learn more about this region's spectacular wildlife, I travelled to southern Africa and met up with local guides. And my journey began. to life anywhere and here particularly because we always think of water as the liquid form but you have to ask yourself well where does the water come from and this Chobe River which divides Botswana from Namibia is central to the lives of all the animals here but it derives from the Congo Basin the rain that rises from the Congo Basin trop tropical forests falls in the Angola Highlands and flows down, providing life for all the animals you see here. On the bank, you can see crocodiles. Crocodiles feed on fish. Fish feed on organisms in the water. And those are fed every day by hippos. You see the hippo in the center of the river here. They come up at night onto the, to graze on the grasslands, bringing nutrients down because then they're defecating the water and that feeds the organisms in the water that feed the fish, that feed the crocodiles and the fishermen. On the other side is a, a village in Namibia. Now talking about the, the difficulties of conserving wildlife across international boundaries is epitomized here because if people in the village across there plant crops and wildlife from the Chobe National Park here cross the river to destroy those crops, who do you turn to for compensation? Yeah. 